the camel. Well, today we're talking computers and there's a new term people and companies are talking about the cloud. So here to help sort it all out for us is Dan Thompson with Claris Networks. Good to see you this yeah, morning. Thanks a lot. So I want to know what this cloud's <laughs> all about because honestly I've not heard of it. Oh, okay. Well, great, great. This is be a good, good starting point then. Yeah. And if you've ever wondered what that guy on TV with the shiny head does for a living, this is this is actually what I do. So this is going to be fun for <laughs> us this morning. But uh, like you said, um, all over TV, Microsoft's got a new commercial out it's talking about to the cloud, and uh, you know we see it in TV and print ads. Uh, so what in the world is it actually? So to boil it down to its just very simplest terms, the cloud is resources, computing resources, outside the four walls of your home or your business. Um, so a good example of that would be like Netflix at the consumer level. So uh, you and I can subscribe to this huge movie service. You've got all these movies just available at your fingertips there. Uh, another great example would be Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, so you've got access to this huge database of all your friends and pictures and things like that. Uh, and you can access it. You don't have to install software on your computer. It's all just available um, from your home. All right, so I still don't think I get it, but <laughs> how, how are businesses using this? Sure, yeah, the businesses uh, can really take advantage of it, and I think that's why we're hearing so much about it. Um, so at the basic level uh, would be an email solution. So in today's world, there's really almost no reason for companies to manage and maintain their own mail servers, because there's just so many good hosted solutions out there, like uh, Gmail, for example, ha uh, from Google, uh, Microsoft's BPOS solution, uh, and of course, Claris Network offers one as well. Um, but this allows your company to no longer deal with mail servers. Somebody else deals with that. You get the benefits of the email still. You just don't have to deal with the headaches anymore, which is very nice. Okay, so the headaches meaning like if something happens with the server, you're not exactly. the one dealing with that. Exactly. I bet you our guy here would love this because, <laughs> you know, we page him all day long. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. You don't have to deal with the servers crashing anymore. You don't have to deal with any mm -hmm. of that mess, updates and things like that. Uh, it's just simply uh, you get to use the service and that's it. And the exciting thing about today is as our available bandwidth, as the, your connection speed to the Internet increases, more and more things can be moved out of your office to where today you can almost move everything out of your office if you wanted to. So like uh, medical record applications, accounting applications, even just where you store your files, all that can be pushed out to the internet and let somebody else deal with it. Interesting. So it's safe to do that? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. It's secure and, and it's cost effective. All right. And speaking of cost, how much does it cost? <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a great question. I think every, every person wants to know this. Uh, so at the consumer level, like Gmail solution is free. Uh, so you and I can set up a Gmail account with our own domain and it'll work just fine and it's free. Uh, businesses can use these things that start out anywhere from around $10 a month uh, to on up, depending on how complex of a solution. Uh, the thing to remember, though, is it's not just you're buying email email like what we were talking about a second ago, you're buying that peace of mind. You don't have to deal with it anymore. Um, just like you or I with Netflix don't have to manage that huge DVD collection. Mm -hmm. You don't have to remember when your movie's coming on. You just go home and watch it. Same thing is true. You just take advantage of it from a business perspective. Allows you to do what you do best, which is service your customers. All right. Well, thank you, Dan, All for right. shedding some light on the cloud. <laughs> Stay with us. We're coming right